What type of a student are we looking to attract to UBC? Primarily someone who is intrigued by technology, someone who sees problems as challenges rather than as obstacles, and someone who has an understanding for the bigger picture of our world and the challenges that we face and the contribution that they can make to resolving some of these big issues. You take in sort of an active role at UBC. You're not just a passive student. You come here to get education. You're not here to be given education. Students here see themselves as partners in their own education. They're not passive recipients of what the professors are giving them. SA is a society of automotive engineers. Um, they put up a competition every year. We build a car, a formula style open wheel race car. It has to be from scratch and it has to be by undergraduates. I started leading the team when I was a third year student. Making a race car obviously is a very complex job. It's a lot of complicated design, a lot of complicated machining. A big part of my job as a team leader has been mentorship. We spend countless hours mentoring the young people that join the team, students from different backgrounds, different cultures, helping them to be more confident and more capable of designing and manufacturing. That was just an amazing experience. Um, I think I'm I'm a different person today than I was five years ago when I joined UBC, and, and a lot of it comes from what I've done outside of the class, all the leadership, mentorship, um, technical things that I've learned. There are so many opportunities at UBC, and uh, it opens many doors. Uh, I'm going to the University of Cambridge uh, for my graduate studies, and what I'm hoping to achieve is that using my technology and engineering background uh, to uh, make a difference and to contribute and give back to my community. At UBC Okanagan, we're stressing research that's integrated into all classroom experiences, in all aspects of teaching. While the two campuses of engineering at UBC Okanagan and Vancouver share the, the exact same spectacular, beautiful setting, they are different and they have different characteristics. Something exciting we've just actually started at UBC Okanagan this year is SI supplemental instruction where we invite students to be mentored by senior students. Sometimes students just want to talk to other students and get some mentoring and some help. International students are also taking advantage of it and it benefits them not just in improving their marks, they're, they're also connecting better with their fellow students as well as the senior students and the mentoring opportunities. Both campuses offer the exact same excellence, the exact same philosophy, but they, they, there is a different slant to each one of them and it's a question of the personal preference as to which environment you are more comfortable in. We have people that have started to make a difference and to change things around them in ways that go far beyond what you would think a young person like that would do. I met Aaron, I think, just outside this building by the E actually. I used to be one of those kids who would think about snowboarding every single day, you know, every minute of every day. The kid was an acrobatic. First day, he's like, hey, check this out, backflip off his feet. You can't stop thinking about the next time you're going to try a trick or the next trick you're going to try. He started teaching me really how to ride park. I grew up in the Rockies doing lots of free riding and hitting jumps and everything, but Aaron started to really push my, my own level of freestyle snowboarding. For me, I think the greatest feeling in the world is the feeling you get when you're booking into a jump at top speed and you have that feeling in your gut when you're going to try something for the first time. One day, uh, four years ago, uh, I had something traumatic happen. Uh, I broke my neck snowboarding and 
ended up uh, quadriplegic. After his accident, my perspective on the world changed. It really put things in place about, you know, whether or not you can take those risks. While I was in the hospital, I needed to find something new. And just so happens I'm an engineering student here at UBC, part of the integrated engineering program. And we have these courses that, you know, are year-long courses that allow us to take an idea, develop it, and actually build a prototype. The objective that Aaron and I had while designing the landing pad was to mimic the safest possible environment to train. Basically, if you're looking at the design of the pad itself, it's a series of air chambers that are layered on top of each other. And then with our different air blowers and the fact that they're separate chambers, we can control the actual air pressure in each layer. And essentially, you can mimic that vertical dampening effect that you get when you compress the powder snow. UBC gave us the opportunity to actually take this idea and develop it through to fruition. And now the landing pad has the chance to revolutionize the sport. The thing that I admire the most about Aaron and what he has done is that he was able to reshape himself and redefine his dream and his goals. I am most proud of the fact that in the faculty we have contributed in however small a way to the technical expertise that he ended up using to achieve this goal. I've got this new perspective on life and it, it's it's really driving this whole project and I just think, you know, what if what if I can save just one kid? Wouldn't that be worth it?